What's going on, people? So, we got a pipe six inches, drops down to a four inch at the valve, and falls about 20 feet to a three inch discharge, just laid on top of the ground. And then down yonder, we have a pelting wheel. Now we're in the Piedmont Tropical sweet gum rainforest. It doesn't rain a lot, but the humidity stays up. And the sweet gums grow. And down here, we have a pelting wheel made with five gallon buckets, 10 buckets, and a generator that used to be gasoline not a very big one but a very cheap one the whole project only thing spent money on was the pipe and sure enough we always ended up buying one more piece of pipe than we needed and the generators in the ground with that other piece of pipe you see sticking straight up and down that's welded and then just drove in the ground a long way so it just kind of sits there and rocks but it's got a belt tensioner on it so it doesn't really matter we hope to get about a year's use out of this before it has to be rebuilt and when it does get rebuilt well, we'll just build a better wheel and everything anyways, but get some concrete down here, but it's pretty hard to get stuff like that. We're already just trying to get these poor people some electricity. You know, once they saw this water running down here, they wanted to play in it, take a bath and all that. That's the piston connecting rod the head's just taken off and put a pulley on the front and put the piston in backwards so it doesn't fill up with water fill it up with grease and let it ride got a about the worst problem with that guy is you just gotta keep good brushes in it but if you have to do it once every six months that's fine not hard You can kind of see the peltiness to it. It's got a little wobble to her. That's some sort of like plastic uh, cutting board type material. And the wood is just tomato steaks. And the buckets are just five gallon hydraulic buckets. Mm -hmm. Spin, spin, spin. Thank you all for checking it out.